Secondra One. I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor One, out. Make sure there's nothing, nothing here that I didn't forget. Uh, nope. Up, oh, doggy. You too, huh? It's a wolf. Take care of yourself, buddy. Animations on that dog don't look quite as good. The way that it's like a low mesh character that doesn't have a lot of um, hair detail, fur detail. So it stretches across like a traditional polygonal mesh, and it just looks wrong. So the insignia key is going to be useful for a little while. It's going to open up a number of different things for us. A number of different locked doors. Things that we had maybe had seen earlier, but we couldn't get through. Typical Resident Evil fashion. But it does, this game does have a, as well as the original Resident Evil 4, has a little bit more of a modern um, perspective on that kind of thing, as opposed to the or older Resident Evil games, like 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica. There's less in the sense of traditional backtracking, in the sense that you're not as much just doubling back and then going back the way that you came. So you have a situation like this where we end up back in the village that the game, that first village that we ran through. But we didn't have to just turn around and go back the way we came. So the environment exists in a much larger footprint than the original. It exists in a much larger footprint than the original game. And it makes sense that they don't want you to just sort of run back over that entire environment over again. That would be a real pain in the ass. Is there a secret here? I hear I hear a noise. Anyway. There was this locked uh, chest here that we can get into now. And a vintage compass. That's just a sellable item, not a not something you inlay gemstones into. That makes a lot of sense. How about you run past this window, doggies? Oh, shit. Why does a dog have gunpowder? Dog has money and gunpowder. It's a freaking JRPG. This one had handgun ammu ammunition. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Don't question it. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question it. I think they blew up the tower. The bell tower or whatever it was. Because they don't want you to simply... Since we have the key, they don't want us to... Simply get back to where we were. Hello. Mm. <laughs> None of 
these open. <laughs> Asshole. All right, so this knife is about to break. Oh, this is my con my fighting knife. Oh, I need to visit visit the shopkeeper. They wanted you to go around. Ah, all right. I'll, uh... Stealth kill you. They wanted you to go around rather than simply going the short way through. But it does look like they opened up these sewer areas, which is not a place I'd want to hang out in. <laughs> to get some more secrets. Do I get anything for killing rats? Hey, rat. No, I do not. <laughs> just another, just another way through. Nothing really special down here. Just more supplies. They wanted you to go around so they can fight some more enemies. It also was a little bit of a shock to have uh, <clears throat> Snake. <laughs> oh, I don't get my uh, bolt back. I guess they sometimes just disappear or break or something. I guess it would be a little bit too easy if you could always reclaim the bolts. Rather than sometimes having them disappear. Ugh, what an egotistical lunatic. I like this fog effect they have going here. It's a shame that, that PT never got made. Because a good Silent Hill game in this generation would have been really something. You know, it shows that my bolt is there. I just can't reach it. It's just not visible. Yeah, it shows my bolt present on the map, but it's not there. Eh. Hello? Ah, yes. Fortunately, Mr. Shopkeeper I I think you like. is right here. And let's craft more bolts just so we're armed and ready. Welcome. I got something new for you. These just can be sold. You don't have to put anything into them. Your valuables, thank you. And that snake, you're gonna want to sell that well because done. um, don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> you want to go and, as part of a quest, go and kill off Welcome. three snakes and then sell their bodies to this guy. You can also eat snakes in order to Crossing eat your snakes teeth, in order to regain eyes. health. Will that be all then? Come back any time. Uh, what's the typewriter? I'm gonna put away. This. I'm gonna get the shotgun out. Anything else I want to do? Eh. Too bad I can't put away other items. I'm gonna have to make sure I use up things rather than just storing them forever because storing them forever gets you nowhere. Eats up your inventory space, you know. Do I have any submachine? I don't have any rifle ammunition. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Uh, I don't have anything left to sell, and I don't have enough of these. What's that? How have we procured the exclusive upgrade ticket? Would be useful for. <laughs> 
upgrading your weapons, like exclusive, if I use it on the fighting knife, it'll increase its power by two times. I've already done it with a pistol in my previous run through, which increased its power by 1.5. Ammo capacity by two with the striker, bolt thrower, ammo capacity by two, which doesn't really sound that useful to me, but you know. All right, so he wants three snakes, I think it is, and I've already sold him one. So I uh, just got to keep an eye out for more snakes, and there will be plenty in the sections ahead. Up oh, there's the church. A church. I made it. Yeah, you you get you get money from killing these guys. But really, it's not a whole lot, and it's just sort of a supplementary income for your character, as opposed to selling things to the merchant, which is your... Thanks for not noticing me. <laughs> it's a good thing we can be assured that this entire village has been taken over by the parasites, and I'm not just accidentally murdering random people. <laughs> ah, I lost my bow gun bolt. It's totally not worth it. <laughs> Under one to roost. The church is sealed up. And Baby Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor one, out. Tell me you can't get over that. That's not barbed wire or razor wire there, buddy. You have grenades and everything. <laughs> Whatever. Twins. Their emblem for the twins. I don't know if there's anything up here. Flash grenade. Flash grenades are actually surprisingly useful when you have the Granado, Granado, uh, the parasites erupting out of their necks. Because that will take them out if you, uh, if they do that, you know, just cause massive damage. Alright, so there's two of the things that I gotta destroy. And I think they might be these two. There we go. Grave okay. desecration. Are you proud of yourself, Leon? <laughs> For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Some random post person posts a notice up on the side of a church full of weird mutant psychopaths. Leon feels the need to desecrate a grave because somebody, some random person here wants it done. Right, there she is. You know, why does this photograph look so old and worn out? If she was just kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. That makes a lot of sense. Just making me go the long way. This opens up just back to the front of the church. I guess they wanted me to go through there and then see the map or something. I don't know. Seems a little pointless. 
Get down here so I can get that bolt back. Oh, all right. Will that do it? I guess it will. <laughs> oh shit, snake. It's a weird little room just in the side of, uh, just in the side of this canyon. So strange. There I am. Oh, you psychos. Oh, I'm a bastard, apparently. All right, who's throwing these Molotovs at me? Lobbing this shit over. Alright, let's get over there and take him out. Alright, I think I took care of everyone in this area. Go and claim your arrows back. I think I dropped one down this way. I don't know if it'll stay here when I double back into this area. if Or if anything that's unloaded... If anything gets unloaded when you leave an area. Of course, I know the game isn't going to maintain the entire game's environment in memory at once. I mean, the thing does have to run on a PlayStation 4. But maybe it might maintain, like, the locations of things. Sort of like the way Resident Evil Zero did back on the GameCube. Or something like Skyrim or Fallout 3 would. I mean, it wouldn't keep that stuff in active memory, of course. But it would, uh, maintain it in part of your save file. Alright, I hear a trap. You dipshit. Where'd you come from? That kick definitely would have missed. Where is it? There it is. This is where playing the game on a higher resolution really helps. You can see stuff from further away. Alright, I'm not getting through here yet. Looks like we're going to have a longer episode because I have this area ahead of me, which is a bit of a pain in the ass to get through. Actually, you know what? I'm not where I think I am. Good luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. What are we going to do here? Blue medallions in the area.
<laughs> Ain't dicking around there right now. <laughs> Were there more of them? You know, those dogs can either be really easy or a real pain in the ass. Gotta be an achievement for doing this, right? <laughs> Gotta be an achievement for doing this. <laughs> Okay, blue medallions. Let's see if we can find them. That's not a blue medallion, but certainly worth getting. A ruby. Alright, the map has identified one. And it's up there. Whoops. That's one. <laughs> I don't remember if they're all in this tight little arena or not. I think perhaps they're not. So time to move on. I don't have a key for that yet. Shopkeeper! Oh, okay. This is a hub area. We're going to be in this area, doubling back through this area a number of times over the next hour or so. Took care so. of her request, did ya? Ha! I can tell by the look on your face. <laughs> nice work. I've got something new for you, mate. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Don't need that or these. A deal well also, struck. the snake, you're going to want to sell those. I knew you were a go -getter. So, I think I only need one more snake to sell in order to in order to get my Got prize. a selection of good things on sales. Infinite uh, rocket launcher. 2 million. You see is what I, I can actually got. get a discount with one of the tokens on my anytime. trinkets on my attaché case. But I don't need it. I don't need it right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Just picking up the items in this area, and then I'll end the episode. Oh, you know what I will do? I will jump into the shooting gallery and show you that, because that's pretty funny. Although, honestly, I think it's a better experience when you have Ashley with you. So let's, uh, hexagon piece. That's not necessary, but it is certainly useful. Shooting gallery time. Loads into a new area. So it's sort of a... The shooting gallery was in the original game. But, uh... That's it. Oops. Reload. Not the best performance. <laughs> That's the stuff. That's it. Should just hit that. <laughs> okay, so it gives you these tokens. What you do is you take your tokens and you jam them into this machine, and then you get a prize, which is usually a trinket to hang on your attaché case. And in this case, I got melee critical hit rate increased by twenty percent, which I guess is all right. I'm not going to use it though. A number of different games you could, uh, shooting games you could play there. 
That was just the one. But we'll be back when we have Ashley there, because it's actually a better experience with Ashley present. And I'll end this episode here as we move on into the next section.